please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. On our own markets, Nishal Maheshwari, the head institutional equities at Edelweiss Securities joins us now. And in a bit, we'll also get the pre-opening rates, so we'll try and uh, get to those as well. Nishal, hi, good morning. Thanks for speaking with us. Before I ask you about the markets overall, I just wanted your views on uh, what's been happening in the steel space. Tata Steel has bid very aggressively for Bhushan. Uh, JSW Steel is now out of the race. Uh, I know you've not liked metals so much in general, but uh, what's your view now? So we continue to remain uh, uh, positive, Sonia, on the uh, metal space. Uh, uh, I think uh, 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 this is a bit of a surprise, the aggressive bidding which Tata Steel has done. Uh, but I understand basically that uh, you have to look at it from a different perspective as far as Tata Steel is concerned. So Tata Steel, uh, if you look at it, they have got uh, uh, iron ore basically which is available to them. And uh, I believe uh, their uh, EBITDA per ton would be much higher than what uh, uh, Bhushan Steel is making at the moment. So yes, it's an aggressive bidding, but uh, one can understand that this kind of a capacity, uh, 5 million tons, one, if it is getting, I think it, would, it should have been aggressively bidded and uh, they have done it right. Okay. Uh, so uh, you're buying both Tata Steel and JSW now, is it? So we are more positive on, J on Tata Steel basically. Now JSW, if I look at it, I think uh, valuation-wise it is uh, a bit more uh, aggressive. And uh, secondly, I don't think then uh, at these aggressive valuations basically you have uh, uh, much upside. And uh, there's no upside of any other big plant because they have not bid it uh, for uh, SR. And uh, I believe Monet is of a much smaller capacity. So I would uh, prefer Tata Steel over JSW at the moment. Okay, and uh, Nishal, what about banks? Uh, because, you know, of course, there's this whole issue of PNB, but this obviously is an incrementally positive news because you're getting more than what you thought, uh, uh, you know, you'd get earlier. So your thoughts on uh, PSU banks in particular? Uh, morning, Anuj. Uh, my view uh, still continues to remain that we prefer the private sector banks and uh, in this case, uh, given that uh, they have got uh, a better value, uh, better, uh, better than expected price uh, for Bhushan Steel. So we should be positive on ICICI and uh, all the corporate lenders basically. So ICICI, Yes Bank, uh, Axis Bank, uh, the private sector banks. Okay. How, what's your assessment of the earnings season? Uh, have they come up to expectations? What is the nine-month earnings growth for your universe and uh, third quarter? So, uh, Lata, I think uh, Nifty still continues to disappoint, basically. But overall, I think uh, the earnings has been better than expected. Uh, we were uh, doing around uh, 9 to 10 percent uh, kind of a growth for the first nine months. Basically, I think uh, that seems to be, uh, have got achieved. But I think uh, now uh, the remaining quarter is a, is a strong challenge. Mm. And uh, if, if we have to achieve that 11, 12 percent, what uh, most of the uh, street was expecting for the current year. Mm. So I think uh, uh, that uh, the last quarter will continue to remain a challenge for that. Okay. I wanted to also ask you your view on some of the large caps that have contributed to the fall recently. You know, uh, Reliance Industries, uh, you spoke about ICICI Bank, LNT, SBI, etc. Uh, anything in the large cap space that's worth a buy now? I think uh, we continue to remain positive on Reliance. Uh, uh, we, it has been a long term uh, bet for us. Uh, we are very, very positive on the RGO numbers. I think uh, day before yesterday, once again, uh, the subscriber numbers have been very positive again for RGO. So uh, Reliance seems to be in a very, very sweet spot and uh, we continue to see that uh, this is a very, very good bet and a safe bet at these prices. Okay. Uh, I still uh, also wanted, you know, your thoughts on, uh, you know, a couple of these uh, uh, big sectors where we have seen, or you know, big stocks where we have seen some correction, Maruti and Aishar Motors. Uh, your thoughts on what's going wrong here and, you know, that's impacting other stocks like Mothers and Sumi as well. So I do not see any uh, anything going wrong out there. I think uh, there has been some uh, correction, some uh, profit has been taken off uh, from the table. Uh, we continue to believe uh, very, very strongly about Maruti because uh, obviously it's sort of a monopoly kind of a position with more than 50% kind of a market share. And it's held on to its market share after all these, every other company in the world basically is, uh, is there in India. So we are very positive on Maruti. I continue to believe that the outlook uh, should continue to remain very strong. 
And recently when I was talking to one of the uh, large uh, uh, bearing companies, uh, we met up in our conference and um, uh, they were mentioning that uh, the order book basically for the next three uh, months is uh, not only in India but across the world as far as autos is concerned is, is totally sold out. So I think uh, that gives an indication that the coming, in, uh, coming quarter uh, and coming six months should be very strong for the auto sector, especially the four-wheelers. Okay. Well, uh, uh, now, of course, it's almost a cliche that uh, the uh, year 2017 was a mega year for mid-caps. Now, where will you look for value, uh, uh, Nishchal? <laughs> Lata, at these uh, levels of market, I think value is a, a misnomer actually, but uh, definitely uh, if you really look at it, I think the large caps uh, are more value than the mid caps and you have several of those stocks basically in the market. Mm -hmm. I think uh, prime examples are ICICI Bank and Reliance. Both of them are available like ICICI, if I remember it right, 1.2, 1.3 times on the core uh, uh, earnings. Uh, or, or core uh, book value and uh, in case of Reliance, I think uh, it's around 11 times uh, price to earnings. So I think uh, these are good stocks basically you look at in this kind of a market. What, what about uh, some of the aviation stocks? The passenger traffic growth has been so good for many months now. But of course, there's the worry of crude. Uh, do you like any of these names? So we have our bet on that basically as Jet. And uh, recently, uh, Mr. Dubey was at our conference uh, la um, a week before last, basically, and uh, he outlined his plan. And uh, we continue to believe that uh, uh, I think he will be able to deliver uh, on his plan, uh, given the kind of details and the detailed work they are doing on uh, getting the uh, company back on foot. So I think there is huge amount of cost saving which is available to Jet and I think a good amount of around, uh, if I remember the number right, $100 million is going to get uh, come through in uh, January 2019. Mm -hmm. So that's a big number basically and uh, I think uh, this is a large brand which is available uh, at a very, very cheap valuation. Okay. So uh, we, 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 we like Jet Airways in that space. Okay. Uh, Nishal, uh, just one, one more question from my side. Uh, what about IT? We have seen uh, big buying in, you know, uh, names like Infosys, uh, TCS as well. Those is, there's been some correction from top, of course. Midcap IT has been stunning. Uh, do you think that's the leadership pocket for the market now? So, Anuj, my view there is, I think I'm more positive on the growth in IT. I think that has been a challenge for some time now, but I think the last quarter is very clearly shown. Uh, that, uh, 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 that the outlook on IT, especially in the U.S. market, is uh, turning positive. And uh, this was a strong correlation, basically, that the U.S. profit, whenever it went up, uh, we saw a good amount of IT spent happening because this is discretionary spent. And uh, again, after the uh, recent cut uh, in the taxes by the Trump administration, I think uh, that will boost the IT company and the uh, spend out there. So I think a few of the companies, especially the mid-caps we like, uh, persistent uh, has been our topic for some time, and I think uh, that continues to remain there. And in the mid-caps, we like uh, Tech Mahindra as one of our topics. Okay. Uh, well, uh, finally, what about uh, finance companies, uh, non-bank finance? So our, uh, in that space, uh, Lata, we still continue to like the housing finance companies. Uh, uh, they continue to grow at around more than 20 percent on an average. The whole industry is doing pretty well and the, uh, there's not much challenge as far as uh, the uh, asset quality is concerned. So we continue to like that space basically within the NBFC and our top pick remains to be uh, Devan Housing out there. Uh, uh, but we obviously like the larger caps like uh, LIC and uh, HDFC also. Okay, 10 seconds left for uh, um, uh, uh, pre-opening. Actually, overall thoughts got legs to go. Uh, we had a phenomenal 2017. The mid-cap index was up some 45, 46%. This year, of course, has been a bit tougher. Uh, your, your thoughts on uh, uh, whether we could correct a bit more? Anuj, this, uh, this year is going to be very challenging. There is no doubt about that. Uh, this year is going to be very volatile. You have huge uh, amount of events happening around the corner. Um, uh, inflation is uh, inching up in the U.S., so is the interest rates. And similarly, we are seeing uh, interest rates coming up in India also. And then we have got uh, a slew of uh, uh, elections, and two, 2019 is going to be uh, also very interesting. 
So I th uh, I see this is this going to be this year is going to be very volatile. But what we are seeing simultaneously is uh, the, the economy is turning positive. You look at numbers month after month, basically whether it is IP or the uh, WPI going down. I think those are those are things basically which are uh, giving you continuously positive uh, signs. So economy is uh, coming around. So I think economy is now catching up with the markets. And that is what is going to give the uh, uh, support uh, this year. We continue to remain positive and we believe that uh, dips are a good time to buy. Okay. Thanks a lot, Nishal, for joining us.